Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good, evening. good evening, teacher. How are you, ladies? I'm fine. And you, teacher? I'm a little, a little, I'm Tired. a little sad. No, a little Why, sad. Why, teacher? Why? What happened? Uh, it happened that my, my, my little grandson has an accident in the morning. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Uh, he is only two two months and he's in the hospital <gasps> right now. And oh. after after class I need to go to the hospital. Sorry, teacher. Yes, yes. Sorry, and then teacher. I am a little sad. But sorry, teacher. yeah, thanks. Yeah. First but class, my faith is nice. Yes. I, I know that God is 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 good with us. Yes. Yeah. I I pray for her or for him. For him. I pray for yeah. him, teacher. Okay, thanks a lot. Don't worry, don't worry. All, yeah. all will be all will be very good. Yes, thanks a lot. Now tell me, what are your plans for this weekend? Oh, my plan for for next weekend uh, are tomorrow I meeting with my sister and I and I cook cook and I will cooking mm -hmm. and I will cooking together. I will cook together. Uh, I will cook together. After that, I I we we will go to visit. Me, my other sister, my old sister, because uh, she felt a little, a little sick. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, and on on Sunday, on uh, on no on Monday no. Sunday is Domingo, Yes. <laughs> on Sunday, sorry. 
on Sunday. Oh, it's Saturday and next day is Sunday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> on, thanks, teacher. On Sunday, I always uh, go to the church. Excellent. That. Okay, and I now. Cook for my family. <laughs> now, ask the same question to Saul. Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Hey, okay, ask the same question. What are your plans for next weekend? Or what, what are your plans for weekend? Hey, ask the, the same question to Saul, please. Griselda, ask the same question to Saul. Okay, yeah. Sa Saul. Hi, Saul. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. That's great. Uh, so that's great. You are nice. Uh, Saul, what, what will, what are what, your plans? What are your plans for the for the for the for next this weekend? weekend? Yeah. For this weekend. Well, for this weekend, well, today is Friday, right? But uh, tomorrow, I'm going to to meet with a cousin. I think that we we want to get a coffee together and we are going to talk a lot about the life, right? <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, that's, that's all. Great. And also I think that we are going to watch a movie or a serial, I don't know, but yeah, we are going to spend all the night together. And then in the Sunday, I think that I'm going to rest all the day at home because uh, the next day is Monday, right? Uh, so we need to to rest a lot. Okay. That's great. Then, then Saul, great. now Thanks. Saul, ask the same question to Daisy Magdalena. Daisy, what are your plans? Yeah. Daisy, what are you planning for for this weekend? Tell us. Daisy, are you there? Daisy. Daisy. One, two, three. You who you whom? <laughs> she's 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 not there. She's not here. And then to Iris, please, Saul. It is ah. what are you plan for Ned for this weekend? Hi, Saul. Um, my plan is uh, on Saturday. Uh, we will have an event with the children. And so, uh, Sunday, go out with my family to the botanic uh, garden. Okay. It is a beautiful place. That's <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Now, it is. Please ask the same question to Cecilia. Cecilia Romero. How are you, Cecilia? How are you? Good evening. Good evening. What are the plans for the weekend? Okay, the plans uh, the Saturday. On visit Saturday? Saturday. Yeah. On visit the beautiful Palo. Sala oh, Belleza. Ah, okay. okay. One plan. <laughs> Another? Uh, luego. Um, I will go shopping at the supermarket. At the supermarket. Supermarket. The Sunday, uh, cleaning my house. Eso okay. sería. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank Remember you. that. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Remember that when you you we use or you you refers to to weeks to days days of the week always is on no there for example on monday on tuesday el on significa el yeah so okay. on monday el martes yeah or el lunes on monday on yeah and then please cecilia ask the same question to roberto carlos cuellar how are you roberto carlos i'm fine cecilia Okay. Uh, what are you plans for next weekend? Yeah, for this okay. weekend. My plan for the weekend and the Saturday. Um, um, 
all day I will clean at my house. What is? And, yeah, on the um, Sunday, in the morning I go to the church, and the afternoon I play soccer with my friends. Oh, okay, thank you. And then okay. I you will you will play soccer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now ask the same question to Giselle Cecilia, please. Giselle, uh, Giselle Cecilia, how are you? Giselle Cecilia, how are Giselle, you? Giselle, are you there, Giselle? Giselle, maybe this is disappeared. Now ask to Elizabeth del Carmen. Elizabeth del Carmen, good evening, how are you? Elizabeth, are you there? Yes, yes, here yes. I am. Okay, good evening, Elizabeth. Good evening, good evening Elizabeth. Nice good evening. to meet you, Elizabeth. I'm glad to see you. Okay, what did you plan for the next weekend? What are your um, plans for this weekend? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> my <laughs> plans for this weekend are and tomorrow I send, I'm going to send, I'm going to send uh, the uh, formulary. Uh, uh, yes, and my doing and it for. Uh, I too, I have opportunity the next course of English Corporativo. And yes. on Sunday, I going to uh, hiking uh, on Ataco, from Ataco to Pujutla, I hope. And um, Tomorrow in the afternoon, I clean the house and only. <laughs> okay. Thanks Thank for you. your participation, Elizabeth. Uh, remember that it's very important when you when you are talk about future, you can use going to, or you can use will, and the verb in present, right? Always you when you are talking to the future. For example, I'm, I'm going to go to the church. Yeah, tomorrow in the morning, I'm going to go to the church. And I will go to the church in the morning. Yeah, always use the going to or the will plus verb in present, right. Now, Elizabeth, uh, please ask the same question to, let me see, to, Sonia Araceli. Hi, Sonia Araceli. What's your name? How are you? All good. Okay. What are your plans for next weekend? Um, work uh, in the morning, in the afternoon, and the night. Uh, I'm going to go in class, in English class. Okay, and what are your plans for, for Sunday? <clears throat> in the moment, no plan. Ah, for the moment there is no plan? No, no plan. Okay, thanks a lot. Now, please ask to... Let me see, as to Arsenio, the same questions. What are your plans for this weekend? Please. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Um, and this Sunday, I'm going to work. And um, I think that this day uh, will be uh, hard, very hard. Because it's the first day to work. Um, all all weekend I, I work. 
Okay, today it was it was hard your work. All but, right. Uh, tomorrow will be your your free time. Yes, sure. Yes. Ah, okay. Excellent. Now please ask the same question to let me see to Oscar. Oscar Rosales. Oscar Rosales, what are your plans for this weekend? Hi, teacher. Hi. Well, no special. Nothing well, special. Nothing special. I am relaxing in my home. Hear music, um, play something. Play? But, see, play video games okay. or another. But yeah. not, not, not special. Nothing special for the moment. Okay, please ask the same question to Aleli, Oscar. Aleli, how are you? Aleli? I am fine. What yes, I am fine. This um, on the weekend, for me, it's a work. I do delivery <laughs> uh, for my business. Um, spend with my children and my family. Um, the Sunday, my pets, um, and they clean the house, um, cooking my family. <laughs> it's nice only. Day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for your participation. Now, did you remember about la yesterday's class? What was I, the topic? I studied perfect pre, past. Pre, pre, past perfect. Past perfect. What is past perfect? What is um, perfect? Can you tell me? Use the past perfect. Use the action. Is the action even the start in the the past in the in the past and the que siempre siguen en el pasado, perdón. Yeah. Se so tengo la idea, pero. Ajá. Uh -huh. You have the idea. More opinions. Opinions. Past perfect, past perfect is uh, when an action is in past but continue in the future. Yes, is here we have the, the definition. The action that happened first is in the past, perfect. And the, the one that follows in the, is in the simple past, right? But we use the past perfect to refer to an action or event that started in the past and that precedes another action also in the past. And then how many actions we have? Two, two actions. Yeah? Remember that in the past perfect, okay, in el pasado perfecto, primero va una acción, ¿verdad? Es una acción o evento que inició en el pasado. Y luego, eh, luego va otra acción también en el pasado. Pero acá esta empieza en el pasado y no, no define si ya terminó, ¿verdad? Pero hay otra acción también que queda en el pasado. Entonces dijimos que en la primera acción vamos a poner el past perfect. En la primera acción. Y en la segunda acción va... El simple past. Yes? El simple past. Yes, Now, teacher. the past participle is made from the verb had. And the past participle of a verb. Yes? is made. Made from the verb had. Only verb had. And the past participle of a verb. Se va el had y 
más el pasado participio, el verbo en pasado participio. Yes? Yeah. Now, here we have another part, the simple, the past perfect. Now, past perfect positive and negative statement. Use the past perfect for an event that occurred before another event or time period in the past. Past event. We saw this information yesterday, but I repeat repeating this information. I was working out when I came back. They were able to steal it. Now, here we have an action. I was working. Yo estuve trabajando. I was working out. Estuve trabajando fuera. When I came back. Here is the second action. I was working out when I came back. These actions interrupt the first one. When I came back, they were able to steal it. Now, in past perfect event, and I had put my stuff in my locker. Someone had stolen my wallet because I had forgotten to look the locker. Yeah, what is the meaning of forgotten? Olvidado. Olvidar. Yes, because I had forgotten to look the locker. Porque olvidé o había olvidado. Had forgotten, había olvidado cerrar el locker. To look the locker. Yeah? Yeah. To look the locker. Now. Positive statement structure. This is the formula. Subject plus had plus past participle plus complement. Now, in negative statement structure, we have a subject, hadn't, had a not, Past participle plus complement. Plus complement. Now, this is the structure. Now, I need to show you some exercises about affirmative sentences. Let me put a beer. Let me see. Here. Now. Here. Affirmative sentences. He said that affirmative sentence or positive statement are subject plus had plus past participle and plus complement. In the first sentence, I had finished my homework. Let me see, here. I had finished. This, let me see, change the color. Had organized had cooked, had decorated, had grilled, had ordered, had made, had done, had finished, 
had cleaned, had done again, and had checked. Now, someone help me to read number one, please. Volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, Brian. thanks. Thanks, please read the first one. Okay, okay. I have finished my homework before you came. Okay. I had finished my homework before you came. It's affirmative, right? Here we have I, as a subject, had and past participle, had finished, and complement. The complement is my homework before you came. This is the complement. Yes? Yes. Number two. Sure. Thanks a lot. Please volunteer to read number two. Me teacher, me okay, teacher. Gisella, tell me. She then after done, I leave. She had done her part before we finish ours. We finish ours. What is the subject here? She. 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 What is the had plus past participle? Had done. Had done. What is the complement? Her parts before we finish ours. Her parts before we finish ours. Now, please, Aleli, can you read number number three? Number three. Yeah. He had organized the world room before we returned. Okay. He had organized the whole room before we returned returned he we use verbs with different sounds yeah in this case the sound returned. is with d returned 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 and he is organized okay. organized now organized what is the subject here he he, he. What is the had plus past participle? Organized. Organized. Had organized. Organized. What is the complement? The whole room before the return. The whole room before we returned. Now, uh, Elizabeth, please help me with number four. We have cooked. Tomorrow breakfast before the sun shined. Yeah, we had cooked tomorrow's breakfast before the sun shined. Yes. What is the subject? We. 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 The past participle. Had cooked. Had cooked. Had plus past participle. And the complement tomorrow's breakfast before the sun shined. Now, volunteers to read number five, please. Me. Who is me? Sonia. Sonia. Thanks, Sonia. Please, number five. Mike broke the case after he had decorated the chicken. No, okay. Sorry, kitchen. <laughs> the kitchen, yes. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, no problem. Mike broke the case after he had decorated the chicken or the kitchen. This, this word is complicated. Always confused. Sorry. Yes, but it's no problem. Always confused with, with chicken. Yes, it's true. Now, Mike broke the case after he had decorated the kitchen. If you see, the subject here is he. Is he. And after, had and past participle, past complement. And then there is no problem. If the half past participle is in the middle or at the beginning of the sentence, there is no problem. Yeah? Now, volunteer to read number six, please. Me, teacher Byron. Byron. Okay, Byron. The Jude 
The Jews came to our stall after John had grilled the meat. The Jews, the Jews came judge, to our judge. stall. Yes, to our stall after John had grilled the meat. Grilled the meat. Yeah. Okay. In this case, yeah. who is the subject here in this sentence? John. 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 What is the hard participle? Had grilled. Had grilled. What is the complement? The met. The met. Now, volunteers to read number seven? Roberto Carlos, thank you. Okay. Yes. My mom bought me a new phone after I have ordered only line. Okay, my mom bought me a new phone after I had ordered um, can you can you see in your in your um, in your list in which sound is here please in which sound ordered In your list, order ID, ID, and then in with T. Con qué termina el order? Order. Oh, ID, order it. No. With ID. D. 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 With Only D. D. Only with D, right? Yes, and then order. is. My mo, the idea is that you pronounce the verb in the correct way. In this case, is my mom bought me a new phone after I had ordered one online. Yes, excellent, Roberto. Thanks for your participation. Now, number eight, volunteers, please, to read number eight. Me, Who is me, my volunteer? Me, me, me teacher. teacher. Uh, Ana Cecilia. Okay. Okay, please. Uh, uh, and brought the cake after Caroline had made one. Yes, and brought the cake after Caroline had made one. Now, Elizabeth, number nine. The others helped him after they had done their jobs. Yes, the others helped helped him after they had done their jobs. Now, another volunteer to read number 10. Me, teacher. Okay, who is me? Griselda. Me teacher. Yes. Yeah. Ah, and Natalie after, please. Okay, Griselda. The, the bus arrived after Robert had finished his breakfast. Yes, the bus arrived after Robert had finished his breakfast. Now, another volunteer, Natalie, right? Which one? Uh, number 11, please. The bird flew over us after we had cleaned up the place. Excellent. The bird flew over us after we had cleaned, cleaned up the place. Volunteer for number 12? Me? Who is me? Yosemite. Yes. Okay, please help me. The doctor told us the situation after they had done another examination. Excellent. The doctor told us the situation after they had done another examination. And the last volunteer for number 13. And me, teacher Rosemary. Okay, Rosemary. The police ask you use for some information after they have checked the house. Okay, the police asked us for some information after they had checked 
the house. Excellent. Do you have any question for affirmative sentence? No. Is everything clear? Everything no. Clear. Okay. Now continue with negative statement. The subject is the formula is subject plus hadn't, had not, hadn't or had not. It's the same. Hadn't with apostrophe or had not complete. Plus past participle plus complement. Again, subject plus hadn't or had not plus past participle plus complement. I have uh, some examples to you. Okay, negative examples. Please volunteer to read number one. For me number teacher, one. Okay, tell me. I had not eaten at that restaurant before today. Okay, in the, uh, if you see in the negative, only add not. Add with not. Contractions or without contraction. Yes, okay. only add not. Had not. Yeah? Had yes. not. And, and it's, it's negative, right? I yes. had not eaten at that restaurant before today. Notice that after the Next verb is always in past participle, eaten. Yes, in past participle. Always after had, had not in this case, eh, the verb is always in past participle. I had not eaten at that restaurant before today. Eh, volunteer to read number two. Can I, Saul? Okay, Saul. Okay, number two. Samantha hadn't had time to explain her side of the story. Excellent. Samantha hadn't had time to explain her side of the story. Now, Byron, please, with number three. My friends hadn't ever gone to friends. My friends hadn't ever gone to friends. And volunteer to last one. Uh, let me see. Alelien, Josemit, Josemit, please. My friends, I mean, my yeah. friends have never gone to the USA either. Excellent. My friends have never gone to the USA either. And then for Natalie and Alelien, that are my volunteers, please uh, tell me another one. Please. I have not eaten at that restaurant before today. I had not. Hadn't. 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 Can you, how do you spell hadn't? It's eight. Ah, uh, eight. Eight, Here. Uh -huh. Ah, and then it's, it's like this one, eaten. Mm -hmm. Eaten. Ah, ah, okay, eaten. Mm -hmm. I have not eaten. Um, uh, there, um, had that restaurant before today. Ah, but the example is the same, this one. Yeah, and, uh, is other example? Yes, it's another example, yes. Invent another oh, example. Okay. There is no problem. I have not um, going to go to go to at the, the park tomorrow. Let me see. Sorry. I have not uh, go gone. Gone. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, how the park tomorrow? To the park tomorrow. Yes. Okay. I had not gone to the park tomorrow. But 
In this case, you use another structure because you use about the future. And then in this okay. case, we are talking about the past. Can be changed oh, okay. with yesterday. Yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Yeah. Okay. Can be changed with it. I had not gone to the park yesterday. It's okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks to you. Now, another volunteer can tell me. Me, teacher. Okay. Tell me, please, Griselda. I had not. not gone. I had not finished. Let me see. Let me see. Only check this one. Okay. Okay. I had not. I had not finished my homework. I had not finished my I can, homework. I can say the platform. I can say the platform. I on the platform. On the platform. Uh -huh. On the platform. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, let me see. Only. Okay, let me see him. I need to change the letter because it's, it's tiny. Now, I have not finished my homework on the platform. Okay, thanks. Now, Saul, please tell me. Okay, can I share an example with you? Yeah. Okay. Um... My example is, I have never eaten junk food. Eaten junk food. food. Okay. I have never eaten young food. What is the meaning of young, young food for the rest of the Comida class? Comida chatarra. Comida chatarra. Tell me, please tell me one example about young food. Hamburgers, hamburger, hamburgers, pizza, 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 hot dogs, hot dogs. yeah, Fre French fries, yeah, French fries, yeah. chicken fries, chicken fries. Okay, Saul, tell me another example, please. Okay, in that in that case, it's only an example, teacher, because ah, okay, I eat <laughs> okay, that food. is no problem. Okay, okay. now. Can someone share another example with us? Invent another example. There is no problem. I had another, I think. Okay. I had a word in the in the in the school yesterday. I, I had, had not. Ah, nearly. Okay. I okay. I hadn't. Word uh, with a positive. I hadn't yeah. worked Word in, a, in the school yesterday. In the school yesterday. Yesterday. I hadn't worked in the school yesterday. Okay. Okay. That's thanks it. a lot. That's it. Now, thanks. Do you have any questions for this information? No, no, teacher. I don't know if today we are going to to see the how to do a question or only a negative. Only a negative. Today. Yeah. Okay. Now, please. This one. Here we have another with yes no questions examples yes no question examples in that case now, a question going to do a question right yeah yeah there is no problem okay okay yes no question examples if you need to to do any questions start with ahada like this example, have you cleaned up the mess by the time they came home? Teacher, I have an example. Yeah, please tell I me. I don't know, okay. Uh, have you ever been in another country? 
Have you ever been in, in another country? In another country? It's okay. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. Have you ever been in another country? It's okay because you use had plus past participle. Yeah? Have you ever been? I use ever. Yes, but it's okay. Have you ever been in another country? It's okay, the question. Yeah, porque dice, ¿Ha estado usted viviendo en otro país? Yeah, have you ever been in another country? Can you tell us another example? In the second one, tell me. Have you climbed this volcano? Have you? Have you climbed? Climb. This volcano? This volcano? Mm -hmm. Okay. O San Salvador volcano, maybe. Maybe. Okay. San Salvador Volcano. Had you climbed? Okay. A usted qué? What is the meaning of climb? Escalado. 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 Had you, yeah. Escalado. Had you climbed San, San Salvador Volcano? Yeah. It's okay. Now, I need... So you have only, let me see, only five minutes or between four and five minutes to create some story and try to use a past perfect and with, with can be with, with past perfect normal and a past continuous to or past tense is free. You can use um, you can use all verbs. Pueden usar cualquiera. El, el pasado, el pasado past normal, progressive. el past progressive, y el, el past tense. Yes, create a, a short story. Lo que, lo que puedan hacer, ya sea si por una, unas cinco líneas o lo que sea, eh, pero es importante que utilicen estos verbos, right? Tell me, Natalie. I have a question. Yes. Can you explain when we have to use past perfect? In which when? cases? Because I'm confused. Okay, there is no problem. Let me see. Past perfect. Here we have, we use the past perfect to refer to an action or event that started in the past and the precedes another action also in the past. Acá significa que van a haber dos acciones. Una que se, que se refiere a la acción que empezó siempre en el pasado y otra eh, otra acción que interrumpe, más bien, que interrumpe la primera acción. O sea, hay dos acciones, pero en la primera vamos a poner el, el pasado perfecto y en la segunda va a ser el pasado, pero con el, con el, el simple, el simple past. Y en la primera vamos a utilizar el past perfect. ¿Cuál es el past perfect? Es cuando vamos a usar had más el verbo participio. El verbo participio. Es en el listado que les mandé que ahí está el, el participio. Está el presente que dice infinitivo, es el, el, el presente normal. Está el pasado y está el participio. Entonces acá, para el past perfect, vamos a usar el had más el pasado participio, el verbo en pasado participio. Por ejemplo, acá tenemos esto. He had played video games. Él ha estado jugando video games. Él ha estado, ha estado jugando video games. This is an example. Another. 
She had a cut de tree last week. Ella ha estado cortando los árboles la semana pasada. Otro. Mary had found a new job. Mary ha encontrado un nuevo trabajo. Acá hay solo una oración, pero pueden, pueden haber dos oraciones que una interrumpe a la otra. Y por eso dice acá que empieza en el pasado y que precede eh, con otra acción también en el pasado. Por ejemplo, veíamos otro. Le voy a mostrar acá. Así como este. Aquí tenemos, tenemos eh, dos oraciones. Acá, eh, en el evento pasado. Dice, I was working out. Dice, yo estuve trabajando fuera cuando, cuando regresé, ellos habían robado, lo habían robado todo, dice. Entonces, acá, ¿cuál sería la primera acción? Aquí, dentro de estas dos. Dentro de I was working out. Creo que este, las oraciones, primero va, la primera parte es la que está en el lado izquierdo y su complemento es lo que está en el lado derecho. Fíjese que aquí, en este caso, quiero ver, sí, el complemento es el que va al lado derecho, pero eh, quiero ver, somos stolen my wallet, de huevos. Sí, sí, esto, eso es como un complemento. Pero acá lo que vamos a ver es, como esto lo vamos a formar con el verbo had y el participio pasado. Entonces, vamos a ver la estructura. En este caso, aquí es como un ejemplo que estamos utilizando el, el, el evento pasado y el evento con el pasado perfecto. Si lo ponemos junto, digamos, I was working out, yo estaba trabajando fuera y, ¿cómo diría aquí en Spanish? En I had put my white. Y pues a mis, mis cosas, cosas en el locker. En el locker. Si, si lo unimos todo así, dice, yo estuve trabajando fuera y había puesto, había puesto mis cosas en mi locker. When I came back, cuando regresé, alguien había robado mi billetera. Ellos fueron capaces de robarla, dice, porque yo olvidé, olvidé que cerrar el locker. Si sí es un complemento, aquí también podemos utilizarlo así, con ambos, así como usted me dice. ¿Ya? Pero aquí vemos que estamos utilizando las dos estructuras del verbo. Entonces, acá el, el pasado perfecto siempre es hecho así. Pero cuando hay principalmente dos, dos oraciones, acá arriba dice que el pasado perfecto se utiliza para un evento que ocurrió antes de otro evento en, en el tiempo pasado. Entonces, normalmente son dos eventos. Aquí está informando de dos eventos, ¿verdad? Eh, dice también que... Eh, igual se usa para las acciones que ocurrieron antes de otra acción en el pasado, más bien. Esa sería como la traducción. No sé si le queda más claro o vamos a poner otro, otros, otros ejemplos. Ahorita vamos a poner otros. Aquí, let me see. Aquí vamos a poner ejemplos con afirmativas y con negativas. Por aquí tenía otros. Vale. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio. Now. I had. Notes. With my classmate. Vayan analizándolo y después me van a dar la respuesta. Here 
Aquí vamos a utilizar este verbo. Forget. Forget. This is number one. Number two. Number two. She had. Wait. Sorry. She had an a mail password. And take number three. He had a early in the morning. We have play. Play. Number four. He had um, let me see use the verb. No, no. How to cook things when he was. Ten years old. Ten years old. Send the mail. Let me see when she was in here. Okay. The verb is in this case no. In number five. When you called last night. Last night. Sleep. Okay, and the last one is she had know him for a long time. And here is no. Now, in number one, if I use forget, what is the answer? I had what? Forgotten. Forgotten. I had forgotten. forgotten because we use had plus past perfect. Yes? yes. Now, what about number two? Taken. 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 Taken here. Like this. She had. Yes, it is. She had taken a mail password. Taken. Yeah? What about number three? She had. Played. Played. She had played. Played up. Next one. In number four. Acknowledge. No. Known. It's known. It's plus participle. He had known. What about the, the other? I had slept. 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 And then here in this, in this example, in this example, we have 
both actions. Acá tenemos dos acciones. Miren, dice, he had a sleep. Él estaba durmiendo. Cuando? When you called last night. ¿Ya? Aquí tenemos las dos oraciones. Primero que estaba durmiendo, cuando llamó. Cuando llamó anoche, ¿verdad? I had slept when you called last night. Here we have two actions. What about number six? What is the correct? No. He had, he had now. known. 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 She had know him. Know him for a long time. Yeah? Yeah. ¿Es, ¿Está más claro o, o, o le, le explico le explico de otra forma? ¿Is it clear? ¿O do you have any question? It's clear. Is it clear? It's clear. It's clear. Okay. It's clear. Okay. Because I, I have another. Let me see if I if I show you another let me see teacher tengo otra pregunta another? pero no tiene yes. que ver con el tema yes tell me eh, hasta qué parte de la plataforma tendríamos que tener terminada esta semana vaya eso tienen que enviarlo ahora hasta la medianoche toda la unidad 4 que es la que terminamos ahora toda la unidad 4. Ahí en los en los audios, en la parte de abajo tiene que complementar algo, me parece, en algún en un audio, es el que trabajamos en la clase, son las preguntas que ya contestamos ayer o antier, me parece. Eh, hay una parte este abajo hasta la sección 4, pero ¿Sí? no sabía si tenía que tener hasta la 5 o hasta la 4, y por eso preguntaba. Sí, vaya para enviar ahora es hasta la hasta la sección 4. Ya la sección 5 la otra semana. Pero si usted quiere adelantar contenido, también puede hacerlo. Usted puede meterse a las clases de la, de la sección 5, hacer los ejercicios y enviarlos. No hay problema, ¿verdad? Por eso es que es lo bonito de la plataforma, que usted puede accesar y adelantar contenidos. Y completar, ¿verdad? Eh, los ejercicios y enviarlos. La idea es que los mande, porque también eh, estuve a alguien también que me estaba preguntando, pero todavía ejercicios de la unidad 1. Esos ejercicios tenían que haberlos mandado la, junto la, la primera semana. Las secciones eran la 1 y la 2, que tenían que haber enviado en la primera semana. En la segunda semana iban a mandar lo de la unidad 3. Y el esta que terminamos hoy y el my term. Y el my term. Ahora en la unidad 4 se va a enviar hasta hoy. Hasta hoy tienen a la medianoche para subirlo. Porque cada, cada viernes, normalmente cada viernes, ellos lo suben a Insaforb. Ellos tienen que pasar las notas al Insaforb y ahí ven si usted cumplió o no con lo... Con lo eh, con lo, enviando lo que ellos piden con lo solicitado ya ya la otra semana sería la unidad 5 la otra semana recuerden que vamos a trabajar lunes y martes miércoles no porque es el día de la madre luego trabajamos jueves y viernes viernes terminamos yes thank you ok you're welcome y si tienen dudas, me dicen, por favor, para ayudarles con los ejercicios de la plataforma. Solo ahora es que eh, a alguien que me escribió, si le dije que no, no he podido ayudarle por lo que les comenté, porque he estado en el hospital y, y voy para allá de nuevo. ¿Verdad? Entonces, por eso es que no les he podido ayudar. Pero como son, es de la unidad 5 que me han estado preguntando, entonces yo les ayudo. Si no puedo hoy, sería mañana. Primero Dios, todo les salga bien, teacher. Ok, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Yeah, and then, do you do you have any question for this class? No, no, no for the moment. Okay, and then thanks for coming, and see you next Monday. Thank you.
Okay, you Take care. Bye bye. 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 Bye b